Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I say congratulations. And I wish you the best in your execution of duty. But let me take advantage of this opportunity to spell out my concern. Lately, I have seen an increase in corruption amongst our people. We have integrity committees at places of work in the ministries. They're not working. Constant deposits in people's bank accounts, have huge sums on daily basis, or not in industry or business or commerce, telling you that there is something wrong there. So I urge you to desist, to keep away, to refrain from the temptation to go that way, because very soon. I'll be firing some ministers if what I hear is true. There's so much corruption. So much corruption that you can smell it. Illegal allocation of land, illegal acquisition of property or whatever description. With impunity, that cannot be allowed. The people are suffering there, overpricing and so on is the order of the day. I think that uh, enough is enough, whether you are a big fish or a small fish, you are just but one person. I will not allow us to continue, but I will, calling the individual, I will be calling the individuals concerned to my office to talk to them about my recent findings on acts of corruption amongst my cabinet ministers. And if they are found one thing, I will not wait for the SEC or anybody. I will send them packing. And by the way, what has happened to the Anti-Corruption Commission? What are they waiting for? Previously, they used to bring reports to the president. That man, that lady. But these days, I don't see anything. The only thing I can talk about is when a certain nephew was found wanting because the owners of the money cried foul. SEC is there to make sure that things are going on properly. Sometimes give me a red flag, a yellow flag, and say, I think they're not going on properly, Mr. President. Probably they miss the old order where the president used to tell them, go and arrest that one. They miss the old arrangement where the president says, fix that one. I'm not going to fix anyone using SEC. I'm not going to fix anyone using the Auditor General. I'm not going to fix anyone using the police. They have got a job to do, for goodness sake. But what I'm seeing is they all want to sleep. They all want to sleep because they are used to being abused by the head of state. I'm not the type. But if they are failing, what can I do? Some of them are constitutional office holders and they're protected by the constitution. I can't even touch them. Even with a five meter pole, bamboo stick, I can't touch them. They are up there. The constitution protects them to be inefficient. The only person I can find is the, is the, is the, the Inspector General of Police, the Army Commander, probably, the Air Force Commander, and others. But the others are sacrosanct. They are cast in concrete. I can't touch them. But they're not working. People are suffering. Overpricing, you know, you, you name it. It's there. It's happening. Not only at ministerial level, but at director level. Madam Minister of Lands, how many of your officers have got big mansions? So many. Push cars and so on. We wonder. Corruption is not just a fight against corruption when it's ministers. Our directors, our clerks, everyone. Files go missing because of corruption. But please, the five of you, guard against that. You are still fresh. The old ones who have been with me, I'm afraid if my findings reveal that it's true, they are going. Thank you very much. God bless you.